Can you throw out Remy? Throw so me. I think about three months old, Remy was diagnosed with choreoathetoid dystonia cerebral palsy. Oh, oh. Um, she's always had therapy from two weeks old since now. Currently, she has therapy almost every single day. I think she has one day off. <laughs> and uh, between physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, MNRI therapy, feeding therapy, all of the therapy. Let's go, Rim. Uh, you ready? Nice work, nice work. Push, push, push. Therapy helps her become as independent as possible. The smallest, simplest things that people don't really necessarily notice, like with Gracie, you know, I'm noticing she's starting to kind of like try and get up on her hips. Well, Remy, we had to, we had to teach her that. Like it wasn't natural for her. And so that's where the therapy really comes in is they were re they're retraining her brain on like, this is how you're supposed to do it. She has to think really hard to do it, but she can do it. You got it. Oh, so tall, Remy, so tall. That's beautiful. You're super tall. We were actually in physical therapy. Christina actually brought it up to me. I was talking about a few things that I've you know, came across that weren't covered by insurance. She was like, have you looked into elevations? And I was like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Man, I think we heard back like within weeks. I mean, and they were like, yeah, yeah, we'll help you out. And I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> We have to have special cups. We have to have special utensils. We have to have um, special toys. Every week we're finding new things that she might need that we have to purchase. Remy, what do you want for lunch? Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly? It's so personalized. Like they know who we are. Well, it's like they know Remy and Remy's story or us. And they care.